హాయ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు మై ఛానల్ మై ఛానల్ నేమ్ ఈజ్ కెమిస్ట్రీ కోచింగ్ ఫర్ ఎంసెట్ ఎంఎస్సి సిఎస్ఏఆర్ యూజీసీ నెట్ ప్లీజ్ సబ్స్క్రైబ్ మై ఛానల్ అండ్ హిట్ ద బెల్ ఐకాన్ అండ్ గివ్ మీ అ లైక్ ప్రజెంట్లీ ఐఎమ్ డిస్కసింగ్ అబౌట్ పెరిసైక్లిక్ రియాక్షన్స్ పర్టికులర్లీ అబౌట్ సిగ్మాట్రోపిక్ రియా రీఅరేంజ్మెంట్స్ కిలోట్రోపిక్ రియాక్షన్స్ group transfer reactions this video is very useful to msc students let's get into the video so today topic is pericyclic reaction first we will discuss about sigma tropic rearrangement in sigma tropic rearrangement when a sigma bond is moving across the pi system so this is called sigma tropic rearrangement in generally sigma in sigma tropic rearrangement what will happen is the migrating group is called this is my z is migrating group z is migrating group and a is migration origin c is migration terminus so molecule should with the molecule with should have an saturation and at least one terminus should have adjacent saturation means molecule should have unsaturation adjacent to unsaturation there should be a saturation uh, should be present so total unsaturation is uh, not useful to sigma tropic arrangement one saturation plus remaining unsaturation double bonds so this is a uh, uh, one group one sigma bond is migrating from uh, one one position to termini of unsaturation this is called sigma tropic arrangement you see the definition migration of sigma bond with atom or group from alpha position of unsaturation to new position across the pi system called sigma tropic shift so this is the basic definition so if you come to here uh, movement of uh, sigma comma pi electron clouds in opposite direction so number of sigma bonds and and pi pi pi, pi bonds and reactants in products are same neutral charged radical species can participate in this reactions so first example is 1 comma 5 shift 1 comma 5 shift in the left hand side 1 comma 5 shift 1 comma 5 shift is under thermal condition 1 comma 5 shift is taking the z is moving to onto termini f so in a photochemical condition in the photochemical condition 1 comma 3 shift taking place so a is migrating to termini c this is called 1 3 shift so here sigma tropic shifts are classified into two types one first 1 comma j shift second i comma j shift in 1 comma j shift migrating sigma bond changes one end of the termini one end of termini one attachment one attachment is new other attachment is old so first we will see 1 comma 3 shift what will happen is here the starting uh, sigma this is sigma bond 1 comma 1 so the sigma bond changes the termini um, moving to termini 3 so this is new position so the deuterium is having one number this is old position so this that's why we are calling is 1 comma 3 shift why because one is not ordering here one remains one so that's why we are calling 1 comma j shift so one is not altered here that's why 1 comma 3 shift in 1 comma 5 shift one is moving to fifth position so deuterium is moving to fifth position so deuterium is one ka one position is not altered so if the, the reach it to fifth position that's why we are calling is one comma five shift if we come to ij comma j shift we are uh, calling first example is scope rearrangement so what is scope rearrangement three comma three sigma tropic shift of one comma five dies under thermal condition called scope rearrangement so first you are taking here this is one comma one this is one so what is happening is uh, there is a sigma bond is forming between 3 and 3 there is a double bond is forming between 1 and 2 1 and 2 this is called cope rearrangement basic uh, remembering uh, shortcut is simple there is a single sigma bond is forming between 3 comma 3 and a double bond is forming between 1 comma 2 and 1 comma 2 so here the uh, three number is both are new position here also three three also new position uh, and here also three new position that's why here that um, the positions are changed to 3 3 that's why we are calling is 3 comma 3 shift i comma j shift why because here one is changed to 3 so that's why we are calling as a 3 comma 3 shift 
so if you come to anionic oxy cope rearrangement um, just we are treating the alcohol compound with potassium hydride you are getting oxy anion in the same way if you treat uh, the oxy anion subjected to cope rearrangement condition so uh, same mechanism follows above like there is a sigma bond between 3 comma 3 and 3 and uh, a double bond between 1, 1 and 2 1 and 2 atoms so if you 3 comma 3 sigma bond is forming there is a double bond between 1 and 2 and 1 and 2 atoms so if you protein due protection is using protection is using acid followed by tautomerization condition you are getting aldehyde so aja cope rearrangement aja cope rearrangement means in cope rearrangement one of the carbon hydrogen is replaced with nitrogen so nitrogen we are calling as that's why we are calling as one aja cope rearrangement so uh, this is mechanism is same like cope rearrangement if you numbered 1 2 3 so first uh, 1 2 3 so there is a sigma bond is forming between 3 and 3 and is a, there is a double bond between 1 and 2 atoms, 1 and 2 atoms. So here the, I am ex explaining one synthesis example. If you take the triple bond compound and we are treating with the trimethyl serial hydride, it is adding to triple bond compound, you are getting a double bond compound here. Then the amine compound which is treated with the formaldehyde in acyl condition, you are getting imine compound. This imine compound is subjected to 3 comma 3 sigma traffic shift, you will get the this compound. As you see, there is a the double bond, there is a single bond between 3 and 3. So there is a double bond, single bond, and there is a double bond between 1 and 2, 1 and 2. So the, the, the mechanism same follows like co Then the here a serial group is removed, you will get an anion. The anion moved in the ring and you will get the cyclation taking place. So next we will move to Claisen rearrangement. Claisen rearrangement is 3 comma 3 sigma trophic shift of allyl vinyl ethers or allyl aryl allyl ethers is called Claisen rearrangement. So one of the carbon atom is replaced by oxygen. So that is why we are calling it as Claisen rearrangement. So in Claisen rearrangement in the same way, there is a single bond between is forming between 3 and 3 and there is a double bond between 1 comma 2 atoms and 1 and 2, 1 comma 2 atoms. There is a double bond between 1 comma 2 atoms. So in the case of uh, aryl systems, aryl allyl systems, so there is a single uh, same way. First there is a double bond, there is a single bond between 3 comma 3 atoms and then there is a double bond between 1 and 2 and 1 and 2. So here uh, the hydrogen is uh, removed because of aromatization, we are getting phenol back. So uh, this is called, uh, this is also a Claisen rearrangement. If you replace one of the oxygen with nitrogen, the same the same mechanism is taking place like cope rearrangement or uh, Claisen rearrangement, whatever it may be. So if you take 1, 2, 3, mm, this is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, uh, like aryl allyl ethers, like Claisen rearrangement, what will happen is, there is a single bond between 3 and 3 and double bond between 1 and 2, 1 and 2. Uh, remaining hydrogen is uh, moving to back uh, due to aromatization and uh, you are getting uh, the allyl ring, phenyl ring here. This is, uh, this is uh, like uh, aryl uh, Claisen rearrangement like in aryl allyl systems. So in the following system, example 2 is subjected to uh, phi comma phi shift you are getting uh, this compound phi comma phi shift is taking place then uh, hydrogen yeah, got around um, hydrogen is uh, removed here and the ring is aromatized you are getting phenol back preparation of allyl vinyl ethers here i am showing you one method how to prepare allyl vinyl ether uh, this is very important uh, for your coming methods also that's why i am explaining with mechanism so first uh, what you are taking you are taking the extranded compound and subjected to methanol and protonation condition here ketal formation is taking place so you know the mechanism how ketal is forming this is simple step the uh, extranded is treating with uh, methanol as plus you are getting ketal so what we are taking is this ketal is treated with allylic alcohol in the presence of acid so one of the methoxy group is removed uh, uh, like sn1 mechanism so one of the leaving in the presence of protonation one of the um, ome is removed and the allylic alcohol attacks on the this intermediate then you will get the this compound in the acid in the in the presence of acid another methoxy is removed you are getting allyl vinyl ether so here i am showing the method if you drink the ketal here this is ketal and presence of acid here. This is a uh, propionic acid. And uh, if you take allyl alcohol, this, this, you are getting this allyl vinyl ether. So allyl vinyl ether is subjected to 
copper arrangement or uh, glycine arrangement you are getting this compound alpha beta gamma delta gamma delta unsaturated all leads you are getting so this is very useful methodology how to synthesis alpha beta gamma, gamma delta unsaturated all leads in the same way Johnson glycine arrangement what will happen is one of the hydrogen is replaced with the omethoxy so omethoxy this compound is treated with the allylic alcohol in the presence of acid uh, you are getting this intermediate. This intermediate is subjected to Claisen arrangement. You are getting alpha, beta, gamma, delta, unsaturated esters. So in the in the Johnson Claisen arrangement, you are using the uh, uh, you are using your synthesis gamma, delta, unsaturated esters. So that's why this is calling a Johnson Claisen arrangement. So if we come to Eastern Moser Claisen arrangement, what will really happen is one of the hydrogen is replaced with the NR2. In the presence of uh, allylic alcohol and uh, ketal and acid you are getting this compound then we are subjected to this compound to present arrangement so here you are getting alpha beta gamma delta unsaturated amides so that's why we are calling is uh, ischian moser glycine arrangement why because we are synthesizing, synthesizing here alpha beta gamma gamma delta unsaturated amides so next we will come to next route next method so what we are doing is we are taking an allylic alcohol and treating with uh, pure chloride uh, sorry ester chloride pyridine uh, oesterization is taking place and you treat with the LDA the anion is generated the anion the anion, the anion will be uh, will be in the resonance form which this compound is treated with uh, treated with copper arrangement or Claisen arrangement condition condition meaning you are getting alpha beta gamma, gamma delta unsaturated acids you are treating with the protonation source you are getting unsaturated acids so this methodology also applied in the synthesis of ireland Claisen arrangement what will is happening in the ireland Claisen arrangement this anion is protected in the form of silyls uh, in the silyl ethers so in the silyl ether is treated with the uh, Claisen arrangement condition you are getting alpha beta gamma delta unsaturated acids if you do protonation condition you are getting gamma beta unsaturated acids then we will come to azoclizan rearrangement. In azoclizan rearrangement, what will be taking place if you take this comma 1, 1, this is 2, this is 3, sorry here double bond is missing, this is 2, 3. Same way like look, copper arrangement or Claisen arrangement, there is a single bond between 3 and 3, there is a double bond between 1 and 2, 1 and 2 atoms. So 102 atoms. So this is like Claisen arrangement. If we subjected uh, this, uh, if you take 13 carbon ethyl estrated compound, uh, so generally it is in the enol form. In the enol form, we will uh, we'll subjected to Claisen arrangement condition. Uh, you are getting this compound, uh, beta keto acid. This beta keto is together under heating condition, decarboxylation is taking place minus CO2. You are getting the unsaturated keto compound, alpha, beta, gamma, delta, gamma, delta, unsaturated compound. Here you are getting. So these are the selection rules from FM approach. So if you do 4 and pi is 4 and pi, uh, 4 and pi sigma traffic shift, it is photochemically allowed. Why? Because 1 comma 3, 1 comma 3 means if you add 1 plus 3, 4 electrons. So 4 electrons, 4 electrons means it is photochemically allowed, supra condition, supra atom shift. So if you want to enter and enter shift, it is thermally allowed. But in the case of 4n plus 2 pi system, 4n plus 2 system is 1 comma 5 system. 1 comma 5 system is 4 pi electrons, 2 sigma electrons, 6 electrons. So 6 electrons means it is thermally allowed, like Dill's order condition. <coughs> Dill's order also, 6 electron system, it is thermally allowed, supra supra. Like here also, supra atom shift is thermally allowed. Where in the case of under atom shift photochemical load. These are the selection rules from the FMO approach. So you have to memorize these selection rules according to this. Otherwise, you have to put any short if you want to do any shortcuts, you can use shortcut methods. How to remember these rules? You have to memorize the selection rules for the sigma trophic rearrangements. So then we will come to kilotropic reactions. In kilotropic reaction, what happened when unsaturation is reacting with one atom and form, forms two, two new bonds simultaneously. It is called kilotropic reaction. If you see here, here ethylene molecule we are treating with the carbon. Carbon is capable to form both two bonds from both sides. One term is one bond, another term is one bond. That's why we are calling kilotropic reaction. Where in the case of here, ethylene is treating with sulfur dioxide. Sulfur dioxide also in the same way. It can form two bonds from one one from this side, one, one termini and another side, this one. So two bonds are forming, that's why we are calling as kilotropic reaction. 
where the gas will get treated one three butyl ion with sulfur dioxide. Uh, the two ends are re reacting with sulfur dioxide, forming uh, two two new sigma bonds. That's why we are calling as chelotropic reaction. In chelotropic reaction, the definition is simple. In chemical changes, a single atom develops two new sigma bonds, or its reverse process called chelotropic reactions. Next, we will go into group transfer reaction. Group transformation, transfer of atom or group from one molecule to another unsaturated molecule in concerted manner with cyclic transition state formation called group transfer reaction. So this is first reaction is in reaction, in, in reaction also like uh, Dilsada reaction. First this hydrogen is uh, double bond getting double bond, this double bond is making a bonding a sigma bond with another unsaturation molecule. This hydrogen is abstracted by the unsaturation system. This is called is in cyclic manner. This is called in reaction. This is very useful in organic chemistry. In the same way, group bond reaction, one of the hydrogen is transferred here, and another hydrogen is transferred here. You are getting nitrogen plus this molecule, like in the hydrogenation condition. This is one compound is forming. This is also group transfer reaction. In the same way, here one of the hydrogen is transferred here, one of the hydrogen is transferred here. This is called like hydrogenation condition. Two hydrogen atoms are transferred to this molecule. Like hydrogenation condition, you are getting double bond here. You are getting 1 comma 2 dimethyl cis 1 comma 2 dimethyl cyclohexane. So this is called group transfer reaction. Finally, thank you. If you have any doubts and comments, please give a comment in the video. And uh, I am providing uh, useful books in the description who are pursuing MSc or who are uh, preparing for CSIR. The useful books are available in the description. Please go through the links and uh, um, and, uh, and, purchase and uh, please go through the links. Finally, thank you.